I'm going to try to make elemental carbon out of how is this how is this called wheat something like that I'm going to do this by pyrolysis this is charcoal this is empty can of acetone bottle and this thing is is charcoal starter so we can start make some charcoal this process will probably release quite a lot of gas that may be smelly so hope that our neighbors will not mind this so i set up a little bit of networking there because this sucker does not want to communicate with ap some for some reason or should I rather sniff it? well oh I never used this thing before so correct me if I'm, do if I'm doing this wrong so I guess I will pour a little bit of acetone there And then go away. Set it on a fire and put it on top of that. Yeah, it's smoking, so it, it, I guess it, it's, wor it's working. So stick this here, and we cannot see the temperature because this sucker is low battery. I was baking this up to about 700 degrees Celsius. This is what has been I guess condensate. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't this dextrine? Maybe. Interesting. Anyway. So I don't know if I can focus this, uh, but it's completely carbonated, at least it looks like. The result is not powder, it's quite big chunks. Okay, so here's the carbon that we have recovered from the pyrolysis. It's quite chunky. It has a nice carbony sound to it. Basically like charcoal. I tried to powderize it using mortar and pestle, but it's quite hard. I mean, it can be quite hard. Let me see if I can... Ah, oh, maybe this one. To process it this way it requires quite a lot of energy and also I don't know if this is a low quality product but I have found some pieces of sand and rock from this rod or this thing here. I remember some time ago I was trying to powderize commercial charcoal. It has quite similar consistency as to this thing has. Here we have some sediment of this material. Let's examine that. Holy shit. It's incredibly fluffy. Oh man. 
it's a little bit wet so that may be that and you can you can hear the sound when I scratch it on the paper see when I compare that to the commercial grade dry lubricant I mean it is a little bit scratchy but I can feel how layers move underneath my finger so it's definitely different feeling to this thing but once again it's wet but anyway that's completely different thing so what about conductivity? I don't know, what about it? Actually I did not test this. So let's try this piece. That's fairly conductive to me. Maybe a little piece like this. Holy shit! This is the thing. I mean... Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to grind this in the coffee grinder and see how fluffy it can get. see this. As a pre-processing it's good but yeah that's not very fine. I mean the bow mill would be absolutely perfect for this but I'm not going to build one just for this. Hmm. Okay so it is clumping together like crazy. But this is not fine at all. It would be absolutely perfect to get graphite in powdery form right after pyrolysis. I'm exploring this process as a cheap source of carbon, so I don't care really much about quality, so there's I don't know about 5% of sodium carbonate I wouldn't care. Originally I wanted to make like a huge block of carbon. Maybe even this size as the sheet of this paper and I don't know 10 centimeters thick or maybe like half that would be much more much more real. Yeah, and by the way, if you know by any chance some material that will produce carbon powder with pyrolysis, please let me know in the comments. So I guess that's all for this video, so thanks for watching and have a nice day.